Hello everybody, this is Exception John, and today I'm going to be doing a update on the Transformers 3D printed animated Omega Supreme uh, project here. Yeah, I thought so that everyone could get their money's worth out of this video today. Uh, we're taking a look at the full prototype right here in its entirety. Uh, I, big light above is showing a shadow of me and my phone. Yes, this is going to be a handheld video, so apologies. Uh, for how shaky, but yeah, this is the entire prototype here. Um, our main video is based upon uh, the waist section because we're gonna be doing a bit of a um, little bit of operation um, on his hip ratchets. Uh, they're a bit loose, so I thought, okay, let's do a video based on that, so then I can show you how how it works. How I'm gonna problem solve it, and um, if the problem is solved uh, via any means, um, then well, I can tell you whether it requires you to print out another piece or whatever. Um, but yeah, that is gonna be what this video is about today. So um, I'm gonna flip them around, and uh, we are going to then unscrew. The back of his waist. So, oh, here he is on his back here. I have taken the head off for purposes. Um, and basically, you just want to lift that up of the battery pack. So, before I do actually open up the waist and we get started on the um, operation right here with him on the desk, um, I know someone's going to ask this in the comments. Uh, why don't you just edit the actual main hip ratchet piece that you've got and just make that thickness. Um, reason why is um, I've not actually designed majority of the parts here. I've designed them elsewhere. Um, the version of SolidWorks I have is 2019 SolidWorks and the version that I worked on over at Another location when I, where I was doing this was uh, SolidWorks 2020. So that is where the actual problem um, comes from and the reason why I'm going to have to actually make it a separate piece. But um, yeah, if I really didn't want to, um, I'd have to basically just pop the STL file into SolidWorks and completely redraw it, reverse engineer like crazy. Um, and I don't particularly want to do that. Um, I want to just make sure that I can get this get this guy up and running, do whatever I have to do, even if it is just a quick fix. Three big screws back here. Um, gonna unscrew those, and then I can basically just pull that off and get to all the springs and the ratchets. So, as you can see, pulling off this entire bit here with the screwdriver. Um, you get to all this, and this is kind of like how the, the waist pieces come out and become defense pieces. They just slide out like that, our sliding bit. You got the, the various screw bits here. Um, could fill the air maybe a bit more, but yeah, this is our main, main um, bit here. So, um, there seems to be a, there is a bit of a problem with um, the smallest space between the waist bit and the hip sides here. That's creating a bit of a transformation issue uh, where these two pieces do not come together and aren't uh, touching, uh, which creates a bit of a problem for the conversion. So I'm going to put some fillers in place for that. Um, that can just feed inside of here. <laughs> and um, hopefully it'll also resolve the um, the ratcheting problem, uh, hopefully. Options, well, I'll show you, test them, and we shall see how I get on then. No, oh, yeah, here's the, um, that's where the way swivel is under there. It's It's connected to this piece here. Um, but yeah, um, let's take to SolidWorks. Okay, so, here I am in SolidWorks, I've basically just, I've just made this, uh, this little part here, um, apologies for 
some of the gun noise. My brother's playing some video games. But here I've gone and duplicated it in a slicer. Um, gonna be doing it on a 100% infill on 0 0.06 layer height. And we're gonna see how they get on in the printer. Okay, so the prints are done. Um, they look quite alright. A um, little bit of stringing, but I'll just get them cleaned up and then I'll print another two off and then we're going to test them and see if it fixes the um, hip ratchet problem. Okay, so I'm currently printing uh, the second one actually off camera. Uh, here is the first one. Uh, this was a little bit too thick. This was about uh, 0.5 uh, mil uh, too thick um, along this width. Uh, not the actual radius or circumference, the actual thickness of the two. So, um, half semicircles. So, uh, took 0.5 off, uh, printed it again. Fits on absolutely like a dream, and I know that there's my shadow of the phone there, but that's how it's gonna fit. Um, it's gonna be two parts, so basically, you need to slide between one, slide between two, and then just pop it in. I'm gonna get the other one printed, and then we're gonna get this all re put back together, screw the waist back up and then we can test. Okay, so he's headless, but he is back together now. So, um, <laughs> without further ado, the moment of truth, the absolute moment of truth. If I go another clip, it does drop a bit, but that's not, that's not actually shaking. Um, and somehow he can hold himself like that. I don't, well, without the waist rotating to what's it, the mass, but yeah, I. Wow! Look at that! Look at that, it can hold himself on one leg. What the hell? Okay, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make him hurt himself much more. Also, something to note from uh, this fix that I've actually done. Which yes, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to fix in the final files so that you guys do not have loose hips. Um, it does actually mean that the friction hips are actually tighter because you got the friction in there from the piece that is actually helping you create the friction against this and that, which then creates for a tight joint that goes out to the side for the splits. So he can actually hold the splits now. Um, I just bear in mind that that is via pressure, so I don't know how that's going to work out because this is PLA plus and this is PETG. I am going to guarantee the PETG is going to hold the PLA plus. I'm not too sure. It does have properties from ABS that make it stronger though. So, but yeah, for now, I mean other. Other than that, in terms of, you know, maybe the longevity of it, um, it actually does work, which is absolutely amazing. I, I'm quite surprised. I did think that um, I was going to need to do something else, but no, no, just that is a, a magic quick fix. Just like absolute black magic. Just, yeah. Okay. Um, I did lose... Well, did lose the foot, got the foot back, had a very loose pin in it, and yes, that is something that I am going to do, uh, these feet are very loose and floppy, so I'm currently in the middle of actually adding another two, two and a half mil uh, to them, and then I'm going to re reprint them, uh, re saw add these pins and sliders, and... Um, yeah, should be all good for when I actually do the final video then, because we should have, well, I should have sturdy tight joints on this guy, basically. Hopefully they do not wear out. Fingers crossed on that, they don't wear out. <laughs> but yeah, there you go, and um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pop the head back on.
I'm gonna pop the head back on so then you guys can see the head. There's the head. There he is. Uh-oh. There he is. He's got a very his head is so great. And yeah, I did do I did do a video on the head. So if anyone wants to see the breakdown on the head, um I'm gonna put the link to the project uh playlist in description below. So then also if you've not watched any of my other development videos on this project then you can and you can be brought up to speed at this point but again i mean um partly i want to actually i want to actually show what the prototype looks like so that well for this video so that everyone knows uh knows what they're gonna be gonna be looking at as kind of like the end product he is much bigger in person than on camera i mean seriously my hand yeah, <laughs> um, but I will say he is on par with uh, probably uh, with the smallest fighting class, the Kingdom Arc. He's on par with that in terms of height in both modes. So that gives you a rough indication of how big this uh, chunk of saw is going to be. Uh, but yeah, that's about it from me, guys. So um, hopefully you will all enjoyed me um, doing a bit of um, fixing up. This has been Cybertron John with a quick hip fix for Omega Supreme. Peace out.